What's going on, contractor fans? We are the Bardo Bros, also known as The Contractor. I'm Reagan Weiss. I'm Nick Holmes. And we are in Newport Ritchie, Florida today. And as you can see from all the beautiful video that Ape Shot filmed today, Nick, you've been everywhere today. Tell everyone what you've been doing. So we have gone all across Hernando Pasco and started putting up all of our permit boxes because we have a ton of stuff coming. Yeah, um, I'm like, Nick, where are you? Bringing I'm in the middle of the woods again. <laughs> it's like we are right now. We actually we were just joking about that before we were rolling. Guess what? We are in the middle of the woods. And a lot of these videos you're gonna see, we're in the woods, we're in the woods, we're in the woods. But this is the, I would say this is probably one of the last areas of Newport Ritchie where you have a scattered lot here and there. This is, this is an infill lot. Right. This is as right. definition infill lot as you can get. <laughs> yeah, we somewhere out there there's a video of us when we initially came out here when we signed this project. And we were talking about the difference between from the apron all the way down. I think yeah. we, back then you said like four or five feet of a difference. Yeah, no, even a, more. Being out here, I mean, we're probably closer to 12, 15 Holy feet. cow, man. And then I don't know if you could see it, Josh. And I know it's a wide shot, but all the way off. Is that a cedar tree, buddy? I can't tell because I'm old. Is that a pine or a cedar? It's a pine. I'm a fucking arborist. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on, let me get my hardware on my life. <laughs> the, um, that tree over there, that's where the property line is, all the way out that way. So this is a pretty big piece of property. I think you said this is what, a little bit over 4,000 square feet, but how big is the garage on this one? I don't remember, it's pretty, pretty so, significant. Uh, and this one, they got a really cool setup. They got a garage on uh, both sides. Oh, that's right, so that's right. This one's, uh, it's a house sandwiched by garages, one for the toys, one for the daily drivers. And I, I think I recall they coming in, they said they wanted the, so for this way, they wanted the, the daily, right, drivers, daily drivers over there and the big Boys stuff over there. there. Yep. So there's like side by sides, they're big four wheeler trucks, all that stuff. And a lot of, um, I was talking to a couple of people this morning, they were asking us, well, what kind of what kind of demographic are you getting? And that's a lot of it. Just mm -hmm. like the one in Spring Hill where it's a what? 3,000, 4,000 square foot garage, but their dwelling's only yeah. 1,000 square feet? Yep. Yeah, 1,500 square foot. Yeah, so that's kind of like, it's kind of cool. It's like, so if you have those toys, if that's your lifestyle, that's the what the Bardo build is all about as well. But yeah. Um, not just Barno bills that you're putting signs in today. Please tell everyone about the house we have available. Yeah, so uh, we put up a sign today for a spec lot that we have for our Amelia model. Yeah. Uh, 1,540 square foot conditioned, uh, all made out of block. Yeah, uh, we're selling it for three twenty nine nine. Three twenty nine nine, all in. Nick, that's everything. That's every, that's the lot. That's the well. That's the septic. That's your impact fees. All of it. All of it. So luxury vinyl planking, your tile in your bathrooms, yep. your Grand countertops, countertops, granite, yep. all for three twenty nine. That's a pretty good deal, and that's up in Spring Hill. So if you want more information on that. Please uh, hit us up in our direct message and we will get you that information. So we're busy. We're moving around. We got things going. Our Wesley Chapel build is uh, getting pretty close. I think we said end of June, possibly July. Yeah, so uh, today they're putting electric in and uh, their second rough plumb. That's pretty awesome. And then we were also told that, well, the customer, which I thought was pretty cool, they said they want a big shindig at the end. I don't know yep. if I told you yesterday. Yep. So she said that we can come on in and we're going to do this big reveal. Josh will be there. Ape Shot will be there. Realtors will be there. All of our trade partners will be there, they're invited, and we're gonna come out and show you what um, this Bardo is all about. And what's really cool too is that we are enhancing our process um, mm -hmm. during the build. If you wanna talk on that a little bit, I think that'd be kinda cool. Uh, uh, the entire thing is learning throughout the process of what works, what doesn't, right. what people expect, and kinda right. trying to make sure that our biggest goal here is customer service, mm -hmm. okay? so. We, we need to build a, a phenomenal product first and foremost, but second to that is the customers need to be as happy as possible throughout the entire thing. So uh, open it up more lines of communication, keep it up with those daily, or not daily, but weekly, with the weekly right. check-ins and kind of inform you where you're at is huge to us, but uh, all in all, I, I think we're getting a lot better on, on for track and trying to for sure. expectations. For sure, and 100%, and that's why we always talk about transparency, especially from day one. Listen, the biggest part of the, the boring the biggest boring part of all of this is waiting for engineering. Mm -hmm. and, and guys, our hands are tied. Like, our hands are tied. And some there's some engineering where we've well, been waiting four months. Let me explain a little bit more about that, too, though, because that's where barn dominiums substantially differ from conventional homes. Right. In a conventional home, we do the plan, we do the seal, and it's done. Right. Okay? In a barn dominium, we're waiting on that third party who wants your money first right. before they're going to go ahead and release the engineering. Right so that we can make their drawing 
drawings with our drawings and submit it as a package. And to the then, family. unfortunately, like you said before, if there's a change, mm -hmm. it goes back and it's not on top of the pile. It's oh. back in their rotation of everybody else they're working on as well. At the end of the day, the manufacturers are in the business of manufacturing. Right. So whatever they can do to get the next product out and get the next check done is yep. what they're gonna do. Yep. So that's why we just wanna be very transparent about it. I know there's, we do have some customers like, where are we in the process? And it's just a waiting game. And it, we do everything in our power. You, you push, you make the phone calls, and maybe sometimes that makes it worse because we're constantly pressuring them and pushing them. But at the end of the day, we got some good news. Um, a lot of our uh, customers today, so we got to look forward to that and look forward to these builds. So guys, pay attention. We got a lot coming up in 2024 and especially already rolling in a 2025.